Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be. You are gonna love this new extension for Automatic 1111. I use it a lot because I love to use end painting in general. I love to change things about my picture, affect little details. Now it's going to be so easy to do it. There's no more trying to paint around a certain aspect and then getting something approximate or not exactly the way you want it. Now you can replace exactly the item you wanna replace without affecting anything else around it. And you don't have to do all the tedious drawing all you have to do is select an item and then change it. The extension does not yet exist in the library of Automatic 1111, so you're going to have to download it manually, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Then we're going to try it together, and I'm going to leave everything in the description as usual. This extension is based on SAM, Segment Anything Model, that we've spoken about in this video a few weeks ago. So the very first thing we're going to want to do is install Xformers because we're going to need Xformers to run this extension. So first we go to the directory where we have Stable Diffusion installed. We click on the directory bar on top. We write CMD. That will open up command window. In the command window, we're gonna wanna type pip install Xformers. I've already done that again, so I'm not gonna do it now. You hit enter and it'll download the whole Xformers for you. Once that's done, you're going to have to edit your user.bat file. We hit edit and in the command line arguments, we're gonna put dash dash Xformers. That will load Xformers into your stable diffusion when you run it. At that point, we're gonna click on web UI user dot bat as usual, and it's going to run our stable diffusion. Once we're inside stable diffusion, we go to our extensions. You're gonna arrive to this page. We go to install from URL. We're going to put our Git repository which I'm gonna leave in the description, of course, and we're gonna hit install. Once that's installed, go back here, check for updates, apply and restart UI. Once we're here, we'll have inpaint anything. Here you're going to have the segment anything model ID. There's three of them. I would leave it to the basic one. You're going to have to download model. It'll take a while. For me, it says model already exists because I've already done that. That's only the first time, as you can see. The next thing is you drop an image and you run segment anything, so it segments it for you. Let's drop an image. Now we run segment anything. We're gonna have to wait a bit, especially on my GPU. I still didn't get my 4090. I'm getting it at the end of the summer. But for right now, I have to do with this three, four year old video card. All right, look at this beauty. So now we can select whatever we want from this list and change it or remove it. So we will select this jar here or that last jar, let's say, and that's it. And then you just create mask and it'll create it here as you'll see in a second. Here we are, our jar has been selected. Now you have two options. Either we continue as we're going to or you can add some things on the image and apply the sketch to the mask. So perhaps you want to half the jar or make the jar a bit larger. You can extend it and then apply that to the mask. Another thing you can do is expand mask region. So you can make the mask region slightly larger. So in case it didn't cover all the edges, it will do that. Now we have two options here. We have cleaner, which means remove the item completely or in paint. Of course, we're much more interested by in paint. We're gonna keep it very simple. Uh, we're gonna write, let's say, jar of rice. We're not gonna put any negative prompt just as a test. Of course, you guys can do all of that. Now in advanced options, you have the sampling steps, guidance guide, seed, also gonna leave that. Impainting models. The impainting models are going to depend on which impainting models you have in your models folder. I have these models in my folder, so I can use any of these models to run the impaint with. I'm going to pick let's say rev animated and all you have to do next is run in paint there we go and here we are ladies and sirs we got our jar of rice this here on the screen might be small i'm going to show you the bigger picture right there now let's do something else let's uh, change the wall color so we selected the wall here we hit create mask it's going to do its thing again mask has been made now we're going to say yellow tile wall and here is our yellow wall. As you can see, we've changed to, from the white wall to a yellow wall that's much cooler, in my opinion. Of course, that all depends also on your prompt, on the negative prompt, the model that you use, but you know the drill. How awesome is this? It is so easy to change any detail of your image. I mean, imagine having to select around that wall, having to paint around that wall with inpaint. Now you just press one button, you change the whole wall, you can change like you saw the jar from a, I don't know what this is, some kind of jam to rice, anything. 
I'm going to show you some other examples I've done here. In this case, we used the hawk. We selected the wings and we wrote angel wings as a prompt. And this is what it gave us. As you can see, it's very versatile and extremely powerful. I'm going to be using this all the time from now on. I recommend you give it a try. You're absolutely going to love it. Speaking of automatic 1111, they just updated 16 hours ago. It hasn't even been a day since they updated to 1.3. And this is quite a big upgrade. They've added a lot of new features, a lot of minor features, extensions, bug fixes, and so on. I would definitely recommend updating your automatic 1111 first before doing everything we've talked about in the beginning and then adding the extension to it because not only have they added so many things, but they've also added support for uh, Tensor RT, which basically NVIDIA uses to optimize NVIDIA graphics cards to run AI extremely well. Therefore, you'll have a great advantage using 1.3 for speed and for performance. Definitely make that update first, and then you can do everything we've talked about. You can do a fresh install and move over all your scripts and all your models to the fresh install and have a completely clean install so you'll take advantage of the full performance and speed. If you like this kind of content and updates, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you soon.